Okay, so Dad's collected up one of his buddies here to act as the Okay, so why did we, why are I we don't doing think this? It's moving at all. Why are we doing what? what? Want to put that, see that? The dent, yeah. Oh, I don't think it's gonna, you gotta hit that with a fucking piece of metal. Okay, you got a piece of metal on the end of that handle. Yeah, but that's gonna be a, you need a smaller one. This is way yeah, too big for that shit. First of all, if you're, it's like a baseball bat. Yeah, you, you don't hold it I here. know, but you I, gotta get you back. gotta hit her at. I can't tell. Yeah, it's coming. So is fucking Christmas. God damn it. So the reason we're doing this here this morning is Dad realized that this wheel well is bent out and uh, it's going to rub against the tires unless we straighten this out. Where's your reference point for it? How are you gonna know when it's pushed in far enough? If I get it like this, I'm happy. Over here. It's bent Same in thing. here and it's level here. So if I can get this in a half an inch, we've ever made. You can see. So yeah, it's it's gone in. It's gone in. And then the angle lines on the inside and hold it? Yep, right, okay. Full length for 76 yep. <clears throat> inches. Oh, okay. So, there. Dad took the sledge here. I had to stop the camera and. Uh, it's only a 16 pounder. Yeah. Would have had the 20 pounder to have something done. Okay. So, now that that's straightened out, we're going to get in here today, and Dad's going to put in angle iron in here. To reinforce the inside of the uh, the inside of the bombardier here, so that it's not pulling out anymore. But we had to smash that out first. So there was some swearing involved, but uh, it's done, and we're going to do that here today. And we're going to try and maybe get uh, two tires on as well. We're going to put an angle iron from here to the front. Yeah. And the lip sticking out yeah. is going to be at that height. Okay. Then the floor sits on there. Okay. We're putting one on each side and then we're going to drop the floor off. Okay, so do we have a, a brace that we got to put in here? Uh, no, we'll put the brace on the plywood. Okay. We'll, we'll take a chunk of uh, light angle iron, put it underneath, bolt it. Yeah. And that stops the plywood from bending. Okay. Because if you put a brace across here, and you bolt it or weld it, if you ever have to take this out, you got to take that out. Okay, that makes sense then. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here next. So do I need to clean up there with a wire brush no, first? No, 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 nothing. Okay. I'm going to drill the holes. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to put a rivet in, and I have a rivet washer that goes over the outside the rivet. I'll pop, pop them on there, and we're done. Okay. The washer on the outside the rivet holds the rivet really tight to the metal and okay. then it can't bend either. 
Okay. Okay, so Dad's going to do some drilling here. <clears throat> Just lining everything up. I have to get the, it uh, level, otherwise, uh, uh, go on an angle. Yep. <laughs> Once I get this in place and blocked up, then I have to drill through the side of the of the tunnel there. Yeah. To put the rivets through. Okay. How many holes are you gonna do? About every six inches anyway. Okay. Something like that. Uh, So we just got this leveled out here and that's uh, going to put in uh, rivets now to stabilize the angle iron. Just here and keep on going. Pull that washer up on the end here. Okay. So we have the second piece of angle iron now, and Dad's going to drill this one. So Dad's just uh, sharpening up the drill bit before we use it again. That old metal is way stronger than the new metal. And when you get down close to the end, uh, that hardened metal uh, rips the cutting edges out a bit. So if you uh, sharpen it, lock that cover. Very light tin in, yeah. But they forgot to fasten it there, yeah. So the I have to put three screws in because snow was going to come right through there, yeah. And then I got to get the name of this guy. Give him some advertisement. See here, yeah. All it takes. Plug the hole. Hold it. See here? This. Yeah. That one has to be fastened too. And this one. Yeah. Oh, well, there's another one on the other side as well that, that looks kind of sloppy. Right there? No, the one to your left? Or is that one done? That one's done. Okay. <clears throat> so. Dad saw that uh, the belt was kind of bent a little bit. No, the belt is not long enough there. Oh, the belt is not long enough? I'm putting this down so I don't cut that belt. Oh, okay. I want you to follow that mark. Yeah. Can you see it? I can see it. Yeah. Until you get through the belt. Okay. Get it. Bring a light so you can see good. Okay. Right. Today. Dad got that floor panel uh, for the heater back into place. It's just in place right now. Dad still has to do some modifications. Uh, we managed to get the two pieces of angle iron in and everything is riveted into place. We still got to cut off those corners. Uh, Dad is just measuring out here for the, uh, the brake and caliper and uh, 
we riveted all those in and then dad riveted all those other tin pieces in back into place and he got a bunch of uh did a bunch of caulking where there was gaps and there's lots of gaps in here uh we didn't get to the tires today as you can see but there's four here there's one outside uh we sanded uh all the rust off of uh the tires both sides and the flaky paint and dad's going to put in uh, bearings races and seals into these and he's got to do oh yeah the track is uh, uh, dad noticed that this piece here was uh, bent up and he was concerned it was actually going to roll off the the uh, the cleat so we cut off an extra piece there I've just left it in place for now dad's gonna reaffix it Matt make sure it's all cleaned up and uh, one other thing to oh right the first thing this morning we had our good friend over and we banged the inner wheel well uh, back into place because uh, it was actually coming out and dad's concern was it was rubbing against the tires and you can see the evidence on the tires that it was doing that. So we needed to punch that back in. And when we did that, we put in the uh, angle iron. So everything's nice and smooth there again. So when we do do the tires, it's going to go in the, into place smoothly. So, uh, yeah, that's what we did today. But uh, quite a bit of progress here. Dad just needed a hand, and so I came out and helped him. And... That is it for the progress update for the yellow bombardier. We're still on target for the next couple of weeks to get this done. One thing that just came into stock yesterday or day before yesterday was our new heater. Uh, Dad went with the 13,000 BTU option here. We got that at Princess Auto out of Winnipeg and that is going to be mounted back in behind there so uh, it's got the cables here already so you're going to disassemble the cables put it together and it's going to get mounted in there and so that's that and here's our old neighbor dog just played out just had a whack day at the shop <laughs>